right guys, so today's video is going to be a comparison video and I'm going to be comparing two different brushes and I'm going to let you know which one I recommend, the problems I might have, the benefits, you know, just all the stuff you might want to know. I figured I would do a video on it because I bought this MAC one thinking that it would be similar to the NARS one, but they are completely, completely different and I know I've mentioned this one in a couple favorites videos and I just kind of wanted to let you know which one I'd recommend if you had your eye on both of these and didn't know which one to choose or if you just wanted to know a little bit more information about each brush. So first off, let's talk about the bristles. The bristles on the MAC brush are a lot shorter than the one on the NARS brush and the MAC one is 10 million times more dense than the NARS one. The NARS one's just free and fluffy and it just wants to blend out everything. But this one is very dense, very precise, and kind of difficult to blend, which I'll, I'll talk about that now. So I bought this brush because I really wanted this one, but when I went to order it, it was on back order and I didn't have it for the longest time, so I couldn't wait and I went ahead and got this one. Now I did order it offline, I didn't know really anything about the brush. I didn't check any YouTube reviews, which I probably should have done. I didn't go in store and feel it, which I probably should have done. I bought it and now I do regret it. This one is not user friendly, this one is definitely user friendly. The problem that I have with this one is when I try to contour with it um, right here underneath my cheekbones, it is the most difficult thing to work with and because the bristles are so dense, whenever I put it into my Hula Benefit bronzer, I would even tap it on my hand a couple times just to get any excess product off and when I would go to blend it in, literally where you place your brush is where that product is going to go. And I found it just so difficult to blend it out because once that color is there, it's really hard to buff it out with this brush for some reason. I would even blend it so much that my foundation would start to break up and it was just a hot mess and I was not happy with it at all. So I never used this to contour again because using it was just such a mess. Now, when I got this one in, I was honestly kind of nervous because when I bought the MAC one, I, I had high hopes for it and it just totally let me down. So I went ahead and bought this one because it's the one I wanted originally anyway. And it is so much better. The bristles are, they're dense, but they're not too dense. And they just fluff around like amazing. I just adore it so much. I don't have to blend as much to get everything nice and blended out. It's just so easy to work with and I actually like this a lot better than like the MAC 109 which is these dome shaped brushes because sometimes I find that when you contour these sometimes I know it's mainly user error I know but Sometimes I find that the color drags down towards my jawline, which I don't want at all. But, I mean, these do work really well. So you can see this one's kind of like in a straight line, and I just find it so easy to place it right where you want to contour, blend it, and then bam, you have a nice, strong contour. You don't have to go in and sharpen it out even more. It just looks really, really good. So if you were looking to purchase these MAC brushes to contour with, I would definitely go with the NARS one and go try it out, maybe feel it at the NARS counter. I don't know if they have it at the NARS counter, but if they do, I would go there and play with it and just see how you like it because I just think it's so easy to work with. I think anybody could use it. And it's crazy because I really did kind of have false hope for this after trying the MAC one, but this one, I will never go back to another contour brush like these. I will stick with this one. It's so lightweight. It's super sleek. I mean, it's so thin. I just, I really like it a lot. Now, these brushes are very expensive, which is why I'm telling you, you know, I would choose this one over these because I don't want you to waste your money. Even though I know I have raved about these, I feel like now I can never go back and I wish I would have just bought this brush and had been done with it because I bought this one off of recommendation and then I just bought this one because I was impatient. So that is just my opinion on these two brushes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave both of these brushes linked in the description box below. If you want more of a dense brush, then go for it. I just found it really difficult to work with. I think they're around the same price, but I'm not sure, but I'm thinking so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any other questions about the brush that I probably left out, then just leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>